Why should you take care of your health? I mean, it doesn't sound easy, right? The easy thing to do is let yourself go. Relax. Eat what you want. Sit around. Don't exercise. Just don't do anything. That's the easy thing to do. The hard thing to do is to make sure you get up early enough to do your stretches. Make sure you hit the gym three, four, five times a week. Make sure you plan your meals in advance. Make sure you're eating the right food. Make sure you're not putting poison into your body. Make sure you're keeping your mindset positive so that you stay healthy and you have good relationships and all of that. So that's hard. That's work. So why should you do it? Why? I mean, don't you want to just enjoy your life and ignore all that stuff? Just have a good time? Well, I'll give you another reason. When I was 19 years old, my father father was ill and he had developed massive arthritis in his neck with bone spurs and it was a result of multiple car accidents that he had just ignored and never got taken care of so the the spine had started becoming so arthritic that it was compressing the spinal cord pressing on the nerves that went to his arms and all of a sudden one day he couldn't lift his arms anymore he couldn't use his hands anymore and he had to walk around with a neck brace and he was under the influence of some serious painkillers all the time so now he can't work anymore he can't lie down because the pressure on his neck is too much he has to sit in a chair all day and all night he's got a son, me, he's got a wife. Who's suffering? Is he the only one who suffers? The end of the story is good. The neurosurgeons all said he needs surgery. We got in a taxi to go home after the third neurosurgeon. And the taxi driver said, let me take you to a chiropractor. We didn't even know what a chiropractor was. And we had them in a chiropractor's office. And this chiropractor took such great loving care of my dad. Six months later, dad was able to move his neck. He's able to move his arms and he was able to use his hands. And he didn't have any pain. That was when he was 70 years old. And from 70 to 88, he was fine, didn't need surgery, never had the surgery and felt great. While he was sick, who else suffered? Was he the only one? Or did his son suffer too? Or did his wife suffer too? If you allow your health to decline, you're not the only one who's gonna suffer. If that was the case, I would say go ahead. You have people who love you and care about you, they're gonna suffer. I don't wanna end up a burden on my children and my wife. I wanna be useful to them. I wanna be able to help them and take care of them, not the other way around. That's why I do what I do. Always remember why you need to be healthy. It's not just so you feel good and look good and you're able to run or jump or any of that stuff. The main reason you take care of your health is because you love your family. You love the people who care about you and your goal is to not to ever be a burden on the rest of the people who want to be there for you. The second reason I would say is so you can set the example because you have people who look up to you. I have three sons. They look up to me. They see dad get up in the morning and stretch. They see dad grab his gym bag and go to the gym. He comes back all sweaty. They see those things. Guess what? They're asking me, hey, dad, can I get a set of weights so I can train too? Can I come with you to the gym? So my 13-year-old and I are now working out together regularly. How great is that? So now his life is going to be better. So now he's going to have less probability of getting sick, getting hurt, and his health falling apart. And he'll probably do that with his children too. Just like, believe it or not, my dad used to work out with me. I hope that makes sense. You're healthy, not just for you. Share the video, please. Take care.